it's Jen welcome back to my channel today I am doing a review and it is of six of crows by Lee Bardugo um, and so this is my first like review that I'm doing ever so bear with me a little bit because I'm still kind of figuring out like everything so um, I just wanted to start out with like the synopsis of the book in case you've been living under a rock and don't know what it's about or I've never read it Ketterdam, a bustling hub of international trade where anything can be had for the right price. And no one knows that better than criminal prodigy Kaz Brecker. Kaz is offered a chance at a deadly heist that could make him rich beyond his wildest dreams. But he can't pull it off alone. A convict with a thirst for revenge, a sharpshooter who can't walk away from a wager, a runaway with a privileged past, a spy known as the Wraith, a heart render using her magic to survive the slums, and a thief with a gift for unlikely escapes. Kaz's crew are the only ones who might stand between the world and destruction if they don't kill each other first. So that's the synopsis, and um, that's pretty much what got me to read this. Um, I love stories that have like anti-heroes and very gray characters um, that you know aren't totally good not totally bad so I like that kind of stuff and this one I thought sounded a lot better than the Grisha trilogy which um, which is also by Lee Bardugo those came out before this you don't absolutely have to read the Grisha trilogy but um, I think I would have I think it probably would have been better if I did let's just say that because the first part of the book you're um, I mean, Lee Bardugo is writing it as if, you know, you already kind of know about this world or, you know, she already knows everything about it anyway. So that's how kind of how the first part of this book was when she wrote it, I think. Um, and it took me a little bit to get into just because I didn't know what Grisha, what Grisha were or anything about this world. So I was a little bit confused for a little, for just a little bit. Um, and so that's why I think you probably need to read it. And also, I'm reading Crooked Kingdom, and I just totally spoiled something for for the Grisha trilogy. Crooked Kingdom is the sequel to this, uh, if you didn't know that. Um, so I'm reading that now, and there's something huge in there that's that spoiled the entire Grisha trilogy for me. So you might want to read that first before you pick these up. I think it might be good, at least before this, or at least before Crooked Kingdom. Definitely do that. Um, but anyway, so. Um, this book, on a scale of like um, one to five stars, I gave it a 4.5, and that was just because it did take me a little bit to get into it, and I was confused a little bit on the first part of the book, like the first couple chapters. I, it kind of took me a little bit to get into it. Um, once you actually met all the characters and you know about, you know, they're planning the heist and everything, then you kind of, I, I definitely got into it a lot more. So that's why I gave it a 4.5 because I did really love this book, but just after I kind of got into it. Um, otherwise, I I don't think I had any other complaints about it. Like I I really loved it. Um, I loved everything about it. Um, you know, it's about all these teenagers and they go on this heist, this like pretty much impossible suicidal heist um, to break this doctor out of prison because he has made this um drug that um that just kind of screws everybody that has has that or grisha and the grisha there's like so many different kinds and they're all grisha are magical if you don't know that um they um have powers and there's so many different kinds of grisha there's uh I mean, there's so many. I still don't even know what all of them are because I'm still confused about that a little, just a little bit. Like, there's fabricators and they can make things. There's healers. There's heart renders. There's um, tailors. Like, there's all kinds of different kinds of Grisha. And so this drug, like, they get hooked on it and then they kind of go crazy a little bit. And so they're trying to get this doctor um, out from prison because the people that have him want to use that for evil and, um, 
of course these people don't really care about the whole thing they just want they're just in it for the money because that's the kind of people they are you know I mean they're all very morally ambiguous characters um, some of them more so than others um, I think there's a couple characters that kind of do really care about what's going on and about each other and there's some characters that just don't care just don't give a shit about anybody or anything except the job and themselves so that's the kind of characters you get in this book um, but they're all really well developed I thought and how Lee Bardugo wrote the book is that each character has chapters so um, except one of the characters there's six of the main characters one character doesn't have a chapter of his own and I think that was more so because um, in in those chapters you kind of learned more about their backstory and how they got to this point and how they became who they are um, and I think they didn't do it for the one character because I think that might have spoiled something um, if they had to go through his background so and you learn more about him in the other book but so so I really enjoyed that part I really loved learning about these characters and what they came from and how they, be they just became who they are and I just like love that. Lee Vardugo's writing was really great. I really enjoyed her dialogue with all the different characters because you know you knew like who was talking based on like kind of even like from their their chapter perspectives and the dialogue just seemed very natural for everyone and I thought it was kind of like you know sometimes in books and movies and TV like there's dialogue where you're like people don't really talk like that I mean you know people don't talk like that but I thought the dialogue in this was really true and honest and I can see people talking like this so I really enjoyed that I thought that was really her strongest suit was the dialogue between all the characters the plot of the book is pretty straightforward you know, there's um, the heist they plan the heist and they go do the heist and then they get back to get their money and there you go so I mean it was pretty um, planned out and I, it went it it went well it wasn't a super fast-paced book for part of it for the first part like I said um, took a while to get into so it wasn't like super fast-paced in the beginning but it definitely picked up pace um, after they were kind of like on their journey to the heist and everything that really picked up so I liked that uh, and there wasn't like there wasn't like a lot of twists and turns in it I didn't feel like there is a couple things that I kind of called and I don't think everybody would suspect some things but like I kind of figured it out beforehand but like I can kind of figure out some st some stuff but um so there wasn't like a lot of twists and turns but there's a couple surprises that even surprised me and I'm not usually surprised very often when I read so I liked that um, there's a couple things in particular I really liked about about that so diversity is another thing about this book that I really enjoyed. There was characters of all different races and cultures and sexualities and I think there needs to be more books like that. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed that. And they were, they were all totally different and you know their race or their sexuality wasn't the main defining thing about them which I appreciated because a lot of times in books it's like oh that's the gay character and they keep re referring to it like all the time and or that's the black character that's the Indian character what you whatever they like keep referring to it like all the time and they didn't do that in this book because everything it was just also very natural like this is a smallish kind of world um, there's you know several different countries and lands but it's not like huge so like everything was just very natural with the races and the culture and like that whole thing so I really liked that um, the best thing about this book was the characters if the characters had been different and not so well fleshed out or they didn't have so much background about them then I don't think I would like this book as much 
because for me when I read it's all about the characters I have to like the characters I have to understand the characters I have to um, just really care about them and I loved all the characters like each one had their thing that I really liked about them and I just I love them all like I have my favorites of course but there wasn't a character that I didn't like of, of the six main characters I liked all of them um, my favorite is probably Kaz he's the leader of the group um, and he is he's like a badass pretty much like he's he has plans upon plans upon plans like he knows everything that's gonna happen almost like he's just, he's like they call him a criminal prodigy for a reason so like he just he it, he just gets everything and he is a terrible person though don't get me wrong he's a terrible person and he has done and will do terrible things but at the same time he's not like a super bad guy I don't know it's it's like you know those anti-hero characters like they're not really good they're not really all the way bad there's some redeeming in him there's some thing that can be redeemed in, in him um, and I think like I liked how they showed his um, leadership skills like throughout it like he just you know they just kind of listen to him and what he says goes but at the same time I feel like he actually really cared about doing them right at the same time like especially when they're doing the heist and things you know of course go wrong and I feel like he like really cared about getting them out like you know of course like they're gonna get the doctor and they're gonna get their money but he also like wants to make sure like the crew gets out because they're his crew so I feel like you kind of see different layers on him and he also has like kind of a romance going on with one of the characters which I kind of like but um, I, I don't know, like, it's hard because he just does not care about anybody. But you see that sh he starts to, to show that he cares for her and, and all that. So I really like that. Um, the, another character, I'm just gonna go through all the characters. So there's Inej, and she's like, uh, in a, she's the Wraith. Uh, she is like their spy master. She can get anywhere because she was trained in a, like a circus. And so she can like climb walls and just do all that, all that kind of stuff. So she's their like spy master. She goes and gets the information for everybody. And she also is kind of like an assassin um, with her knives. She can cut you. Okay, she can cut you. Uh, she is not a bad character. She just has been in bad situations that, you know, she has to survive. And so being a part of this crew is how she survives. But she doesn't really get enjoyment out of it. She doesn't enjoy killing people or doing anything. She's just doing this until her debt is paid and there you go. So, but she was a really, like, strong, like, character that I really enjoyed. Um, so I really liked her. There's Nina. She's the other girl of the group. She's a Grisha. And she has, you know, magical powers and all that kind of stuff. And she was probably my favorite She's one of my favorites. Besides Cass, she's probably my favorite. Just because she's, um, she's funny and she's really, like, real. And she doesn't take shit from anybody and I love her. And she loves food and I thought that was funny. Um, and her and this other character, Matthias, have the star-crossed love thing going on. Even though romance is not at all, like, a huge part of this book. It's not. But they have such a great history and backstory. I loved reading their backstory. Like, most of all, I, I love that. Um, so, like, she's a Grisha, and he's part of a group that kills Grisha, and just the whole thing. And I just love them, and they love each other. I hope they love each other. I don't know. But I just, I love them. Um, okay. Then there's Jesper. He is a, a sharpshooter. And he is so funny like I love him he's so funny uh, he's like the comedic relief in the book not that there's a lot but there's a little bit and it come, usually comes from him 
so I like him because of that. Uh, and he's, he's not like a really bad character either. It's, it's like all these characters aren't like super bad. They don't enjoy most of what they do. I don't, I don't think they do. Um, but because of circumstances has put, have put them, you know, in this place where, you know, they have to survive somehow and this is how they're doing it. So there's him and then there's also Waylon. He's a merchant son who just kind of winded up in the slums and in the crew because he he's their demolitions expert. Um, so they use him for that. And he is the only character that like, like he, I mean, he is good. He's a good guy. He just like, he did not have a choice in doing any of this at all. Like he, he doesn't want to lie. He doesn't want to steal. He doesn't, he wants to be honest, like, but he just doesn't have a choice. So he was only like super good character, I guess, uh, that, you know, not a lot of moral ambiguity ambiguity with him like he's pretty straight and narrow but in this book like it's really funny to see him kind of transfer form into like this merchant son good kid into you know helping them with this heist and that was really interesting to see so I don't think I have a lot of other things to talk about so I really I did really enjoy this book like I said I'm reading Crooked Kingdom now and Oh my god like I can't even wait to finish that book because it's so good and I still don't know what's going on so um so thanks for watching my review of six of crows by Lee Bardugo uh, go pick this up like seriously if you have not read this yet go read it because it's so good go read it right now right now um, it's just amazing I loved it uh, so yeah so if uh, you want to see some more book reviews and book videos, go ahead and like and subscribe and let me know if you've read this and how you felt about it. Uh, no spoilers for Crooked Kingdom, please, because I'm not done. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.